last week, we were so excited to welcome you into the new home for Tampa Bay's Morning Blend, and we are still loving it. Of course, many folks had a hand in making that happen, but one big team that had a big hand in making this wonderful set come to life were our friends at El Dorado. And I'm so excited to check in with Lauren, who is joining us now. Lauren, I don't know if I need to say welcome first or thank you first. <laughs> Good morning. Either one works. <laughs> it is the truth. We are loving it. We are getting a lot of positive feedback from viewers and, of course, people who are coming into the set and seeing it for the first time. But before we dive into the intricacies of what happened here, I want to talk with you about El Dorado Furniture. I've had the pleasure of visiting some showrooms in the past, and, and you continue to bring that style and that drive that you have for making people's homes beautiful here to the Bay Area. Yes. Um, well, thank you for having me first and foremost. Um, we're really excited that um, we were able to partner with you guys um, for this project. Um, El Dorado has um, been around since 1967. Uh, we're actually approaching our 55th anniversary, which we're really excited about. Um, it's something that since day one, we've really been dedicated to um, creating a space for our customers. So that's why we have um, the Boulevard experience to make people feel like they're going through a, a style journey. Um, it's really been our, um, our focus to make sure that everyone that comes here feels like family. I'm so glad you brought up that Boulevard concept. That's one thing that definitely sticks with me about your showrooms. It is a unique shopping experience, and I love that. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and let's brag a little bit. Let's first talk inspiration, though. And I know we are fortunate. We actually have a time lapse of everything that happened in the studio that we get to show you right now. So give us an idea. Where did the inspiration come from? So the inspiration came from actually the main set. Um, when we um, kind of saw, like, um, previous videos, we noticed that the main set was the focal point. So we wanted to kind of utilize that as much as possible to um, to prioritize um, the set inspiration and the, the staging of the set. Um, so you'll notice that we kind of center around that area and we wanted to create something that matched the same feel of the show. So we wanted it to feel as though um, you know, the Tampa Bay morning then as though you're having a cup of coffee with us in the morning um, and create a, a space that matched the concept of the show's energy, but it was still really functional for you guys. You know what I want to kind of compliment you on and how I felt since being here? You know, we still have, like you said, that feeling, and, and we hope our viewers agree, of having a you know cup of coffee with us in the morning. But yet this set has more of, like I kept saying, an edge, more of a, I don't want to say modern vibe, but really that's kind of the word that keeps yeah. coming to mind, more of yeah. that, you know, vibe that's up to date in a way with that slight edge. Would you agree? Absolutely. Um, each piece was really chosen um to um, create that modern feel but also to nurture conversations in the studio um so it, it was curated um that way in in all the areas both the bar um the secondary seating area um to create those conversations and those relationships with your guests on on the show I love hearing that. And, you know, again, we're getting positive feedback. In fact, we had someone recently come and sit on this couch, which this is the, the home set, the home base that you were referring to is where I'm sitting right now. Right. Even recognized this couch. And they said, is that El Dorado? And so I feel like even, you know, your individual pieces really speak to what you're able to offer other folks in the showrooms. Oh, well, we'd love to hear that. Uh, <laughs> definitely love to hear that people resonate with our um, with our style and with our pieces and, and that it, it, like I said, that it makes you feel like you're at home. Well, before we run out of time, I want to make sure and talk about the expansion of El Dorado Furniture and, and how people can really experience the showrooms for themselves and even current projects, which is really because I didn't even know how you really do want to make a statement when it comes to projects and showing that you're a part of the community. Absolutely. Uh, so right now we're working on a really excited community event. Um, that will be taking place on March 18th. It's called One Night Para Ella, and it celebrates um, Women's History Month um, in a big way. So we're really excited about that. Uh, but if you're not local to make that event, um, we also have some in-store activations, um, particularly as close to you guys is um, the St. Petersburg showroom um, that customers can come in and take an empowering um, 
photo moment in, uh, with a newsstand. So it's a really, um, we've tried to include all of our stores in the activation um, to really um, set forth a, a tone when it comes to women's empowerment. So we're really excited about that. The other thing that we have that we're really excited about is um, our Wesley Chapel um, showroom is opening in the coming months. So we are definitely expanding north, which I'm sure you guys are very excited for. Yep, we are excited to have two showrooms in the Bay Area. Wesley Chapel is not opened yet, but of course, stay tuned. You can just check out El Dorado's website if you want more information on their expansion in the Bay Area or anything that Laura and I talked about today. Thank you. And again, thank you for creating our new home here at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. No problem. It was really our pleasure.